We want to get you back to the story that Michael Hyland had, the president making a lot of news as he suggested North Carolina voters vote twice. Our Michael Hyland sat down with the vice president to get his opinion on the situation. Now, the president suggested that people send their mail-in ballots early and then go try to vote in person. In North Carolina, voting twice is a felony. Even attempting to vote twice is against the law. Will you tell voters now, do not attempt to vote twice? Well, I think the president was, was very clear that if you choose to vote by mail, that it would still be a good idea to go to the polls on election day to make sure that your vote was counted. I believe every American has a right to make sure that their vote is counted. And when you think about the stakes in this election, when you think about the choice in this election. The head of the State Board of Elections, Karen Brinson Bell, says she's strongly discouraging that. There are ways to track your ballot online. She says showing up on election day could lead to long lines and possibly spreading COVID-19. I also asked Vice President Pence about the CDC telling states to start getting ready to distribute a COVID-19 vaccine as soon as November 1st. Is the administration trying to exert any pressure on getting this vaccine around the time of the election? And could that undermine the public confidence in the vaccine. With Operation Warp Speed, what we have sought to do from literally the first week of February is make sure that we bring a safe and effective vaccine for the coronavirus to the American people the moment that it's available. I mean, the, the people here in Raleigh are, are proud of their great tradition in the research triangle here, and companies here are playing a leading role in that. But we will cut no corners. Uh, on the safety of a vaccine. The vice president was here today to accept an endorsement from the Southern States Police Benevolent Association. He said the Trump administration will never support defunding the police. You can see more of our interview with Vice President Pence, including on that topic, on the CBS 17 mobile news app. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.